Hello everyone, Stephanie from Mrs. D's Corner here. I wanted to show a quick how-to video for using the digital visual schedule that you can purchase on TPT. This is what it looks like here. When you download the file to your computer, you're going to have this box over here. This is going to be your folder when you open it up. There are written instructions included. You have your icons that I will show you how to use, my terms of use, and your visual schedule options. This one right here will give you the copy of the visual schedule to your Google Drive. If you would rather use them in PowerPoint, you can use this file here. You can see in my browser, I'm using Safari, I have copied the digital schedule already, and this is what it looks like, you have different options. Those ones don't wanna load, there we go. So you have a first then, a first next then, another first then that has the first and second instead of the written version, and then the first then next. You also have a schedule for two spots, three, four, five, an a.m. and a p.m. with five, and then you have six for my schedule, an a.m. and a p.m. schedule if you wanted to make a larger schedule. What I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to get the icons into your actual visual schedule or onto your first then board. So you're going to want to do this on a computer. It's much faster and simpler on a computer than it would be to do on a tablet or an iPad. You're going to have open the copy of the visual schedule that you have. If you're renaming it for one of your students, you can rename it up here. You also are going to want to have the folder that you've downloaded from TPT. You will need the icons. You have check marks here, which we'll go, go over. If you're doing this at home, here are all your home visual icons. If you're doing this for school, here are all of your school visual icons. And you can mix and match them. I separated them based off of things students would do at home versus things students would do at school. The first step here is to choose your board. So are you going to be doing a first then board? Are you going to be using one of the visual schedules this is a template, a digital template of the flip visual schedule, what is what the check marks are for. But first I wanna start with the first then board. I'm going to choose this one. I left this white space here for you to house extra icons. So let's say we are at home and I named all of these activities what they say. So whatever the icon is here, whatever it is labeled is what you are going to see the words say, what the icon is going to show. So let's say first we have to do our chores. So how am I going to get this icon into this Google Drive format? You're going to click insert image, upload from computer, wherever you are housing your um, digital visual schedule folder, you're going to click icons, home schedule and chores. So you have that option as well. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here or I know on a Mac, now I am Mac, not PC, so I'm sure it still works on a PC as well, but if you wanted to just make an easy drop and drag, you can have just drop, you just click it and drag it over into the file and it will do the same thing. So let's say we're gonna have chores, then we're gonna eat breakfast, and then we're gonna go to music therapy. So you have these three options here. You can also resize them if you wanted them to be smaller to fit more icons. If you want them all to be the same size, you can right click and then you can choose format or, which is right here, or when you click it at the top, you have format options as well. You're gonna click size and rotation. You'll wanna lock the aspect ratio. That means it's going to stay the same shape. And then you can choose the size that you want. So let's see, we want them all to be one inch you could easily just change them all to one inch to be the same size. If you wanna make them larger, you can do that as well. It's really up to you and depending on how you plan on using this. So let's say first we're gonna eat breakfast and then we have to do our chores and then we're gonna to go to music therapy. So you can put these here and have your student manipulate them on the iPad or the tablet or on the computer or you can just have this already up for them and you could copy and paste and have multiple first then boards in a row. So let's take a look at the schedule here. I'm actually going to choose um, this AM schedule and I'm gonna go back to the school icons. Oh, 
All right, we have it open. So let's say first thing in the morning, we're going to do calendar time and I'm just gonna drop and drag here. My lock, my aspect ratio is already locked. I wanna make this probably an inch and a half to fit inside of here. So we're gonna do calendar time first and then we're going to do buddy reading. I change the size as we go just so I don't have to do it all at once. Then we're gonna take a break And then what are we going to do after that? Let's say we are going to do some daily living practice, practicing life skills, maybe emptying the recycling at the school and picking it all up or something like that. And then we're going to go to the library. This is our AM schedule for today. Now this is where you can have your students manipulate all of these icons here. You can have them put them in order if they're at home and you want them to do a certain number of activities, or if you just want them to be able to move the check mark, like the printable check mark template, you just pick a color. If you wanted to do a different color for each one, you could certainly do that. I'm gonna choose blue. I'm going to make it 1.5 inches because that is the same as the others. And if you want to copy it so you don't have to redo that, you can right click copy and paste, and then, or you can hit Command C, which will copy that when you have it highlighted, and then Command V, and that's for a Mac again. So you could just copy all of the check marks, or you can drag and drop each one if you wanted to do different colors, or drag and drop for each one. Then as your student is completing this visual schedule, you can have the student move, so they finish their calendar time, all right, and you can have the tablet there or an iPhone or a Chromebook or whatever device the child is using that has access to Google Slides. You can have them manipulate the arrows or the check marks and have them complete their morning schedule. And then when they're finished, they can go on to their PM schedule and you can have it all laid out here for them. The great thing about this is you can complete a visual, a visual schedule that's digital for each day of the week that is different. If you wanted to put some different icons over here for different days of the week, you could some easily do that and have the student choose a couple of things that you want them to complete, especially during this distance learning time. You can put multiples on the side here and have the student manipulate them that way. That concludes this how-to video. I hope it made it a little bit simpler for you. If you have any questions, please reach out. I am always happy to help.